so dear students so today our topic is pharmacology of thyroid hormones analogs and their inhibitors so analog means so these are the drugs so they have similar pharmacological action physiological role that of with the thyroid hormones are t3 t4 so these drugs they are mainly used so when the thyroid gland do not produces the thyroid hormones or the concentration was negligible and inhibitors so these are used to control the over activity of the t3 and t4 thyroid analogs so these are the main thyroid analogs so they are commonly used for the treatment of the hypothyroidism that is d thyronine thyroxine d t4 leothyroxine l t3 then leothyronine t3 then leotrix it is the one drug it consists of both t4 and t3 so here dear students in the peripheral nervous systems or in the blood the t4 is counted into t3 and t3 having biological half life is only 24 hours but t4 it will be having the biological half life is 7 so that's why the t4 is administered so during the deficiency of t3 in the presence of the iodinase enzyme so t4 is counted into a t3 so then the t3 is involved in the regulations of the various metabolic reactions then metabolisms and as well as involved in the growth of the brain and as well as the body mechanism so these drugs so they are mainly acts on the nuclear receptors or thyroid receptors and involved in the expressions of rna that is so the thyroid analog so they are mainly acts on the thyroid receptors and thyroid receptors are examples for the nuclear receptor so due to binding of these analog on nuclear receptors so they can causes the transcriptions of the dna it means they can increase the formations of more dna so as the formations of dna increases automatically the formations of rna is increases so as the rna increases the protein synthesis is also in case so like that so these thyroid analogs so they are involved in the development of body by causing the transcriptions of dna by acting on the nuclear receptors so therapeutic uses so these drugs so they are mainly used in treatment of the hyperthyroidism or so these drugs they are mainly lowers the ldl triglycerides apoB and lpa so these are the risk factor for to cause the cvs disorders so by use of these drugs we can correct the cvs disorder because these drugs are mainly lowers the ldl triglyceride as well as they can clear the cholesterol then apoB and lpa the third analog is also used for treatment of the metabolic disorders like obesity and type 2 diabetes mellitus then classifications of anti thyroid drugs so these are drug they can antagonize the activity of the thyroid hormones and such drugs are known as the anti thyroid drugs so these are mainly classified into six class that is the first inhibit the hormone synthesis are also known as a anti thyroid drugs like propyl thyroxine methimazole so, so these drugs so they are mainly inhibit the synthesis of thyroid hormone t3 t4 then they can show the anti thyroid activity then second class inhibit the iodide trappings so these are known as the ionic inhibitors examples are thiocyanates perchlorate then nitrates then third inhibit the release of hormones by inhibiting the lysosol enzymes like iodide then iodines then iodides of sodium iodinic iodides like ipodate eponic acid then diatrazoates then also they categorize destroy thyroid tissues like radioactive 
iodine 131i 125i 123i then beta blocker like propanol it is also used as the anti third drugs then miscellaneous like sulfonamides is antibiotic used as anti third drugs then phenylbutazone thiopentosodium lithium amidron and dimercaprol so these are the drugs so they are mainly helpful for treatment of the hyperthyroidism or to control the over activity of the thyroid hormones so now we can learn the important mechanism of actions of the anti thyroid drugs so already we learned in the last class regarding the biosynthesis of t3 and t4 how the t3 t4 they are releases then as well as their pharmacological actions but today we are learn regarding the important mechanism of actions of the anti thyroid drugs so first class drug that is the thiomides so these thiomides so they are mainly inhibit the peroxidase enzyme that is known as the iodinations by inhibiting this enzyme the iodide cannot converted into iodine so lack of iodine the t3 t4 do not forms then second possible mechanism that is the so these are inhibits the coupling reactions between mit and dit is responsible for the formations of t3 and dit and dit responsible for formations of the t4 then thiamides so they inhibit the coupling reactions then next mechanism thiomides so these drugs so they are inhibits the peripheral conversions of t4 into t3 and lack of t3 there is no physiological activity can be occurs in our body examples like propyl thiouracils and methimazoles then another category mechanism some drugs so they are inhibit the uptake of iodide by targeting the active transport or by inhibiting the channels like sodium iodine symport like thiocyanates perchlorates and nitrates and organic iodides and iodides so they are show their action by inhibiting the lysosomal enzyme and lysosomal enzyme is responsible for to lyse the deposit of the t3 and t4 and release into the blood and these iodides and organic iodides they inhibit the release of t3 and t4 into blood so like that they can show the anti thyroid activity so mechanism of actions that is inhibit the thyroid peroxidase catalyzed reaction by blocking iodine organification example is a thiamides then second mechanism block the coupling of thio iodothyrosins by a thiamides the third mechanism inhibit the peripheral deiodination of t3 and t4 by propyl thio uracil and methimazole then next mechanism some drugs they are like thiocyanates perchlorates nitrates they block the uptake of iodine by a gland through complete inhibits of iodide transport mechanisms then last one the inhibit the release of hormone by targeting the lysosomal enzyme by organic iodides and iodides then now we can learn regarding the few important pharmacological profile of the anti thyroid drugs regarding their class mechanism of action therapeutic uses important toxicity or pharmacokinetics properties first drug that is propyl thiouracils its mechanism is it can inhibit the thyroid peroxidase and reactions so due to that they can inhibit the conversion of iodide into iodines then second it can block the iodine organifications then inhibit the peripheral deiodinations of t4 and t3 then it is helpful for treatment of the hyperthyroidism it is administered by oral route the action is onset within 6 to 8 hours then food can delay the its onset of action toxicity it causes like nausea gat distress rash ergonomic cytosis hepatitis and hypothyroidism then second iodides examples of lucerne solutions potassium iodides its mechanism is it inhibits the organifications and hormones release and also reduce the size of vascularity of the gland and the prep so their uses so these are used as a preparation for surgical thyroidectomy it means so before removal of the thyroid gland so that patient was treated with the help of the 
iodides to control the over activity of the T3 and T4. So they are administrable oral route, the action was onset within 2 to 7 days. Okay, so their main area is uh, they can cause the hypothyroidism. Then third class drug, beta blockers. From this class only the example is a propanol. It can show the antithyroid like activity by inhibitions of the adenoreceptors by controlling the over hyperactivity. So that can caused by the T3 and T4. So that can antagonize by the propanol. So that's why the propanol is used as the antithyroid drugs. And as well as it can inhibit the peripheral conversions of T4 into T3. So due to these two mechanism, the only the propanol it is used as an antithyroid drugs. So it is helpful for the treatment of the hypothyroidism, especially in the case of thyroid storm, nothing but it is a completely uh, that is a uncontrolled activity of the thyroid tissues. Then adjoint to the control tachycardia, hypertension and atrial fibrillations. So the onset of the reaction is within hours, the duration is, it is 4 to 6 or by administrative oral route, then toxicity they can involved in the cause of asthma, AV blockade, hypotension and bradycardia. Then last class, that is radioactive iodine 131i, that is also written as the RAI, its mechanism, it can destruct the follicular tissues or follicular cells or it can destroy the thyroid tissues. So, due to lack of parenchyma of the thyroid gland, the hormones do not produce. So, these are used in the treatment of the hypothyroidism. So, oral half life is 5 days, then onset of action is remains for 6 to 12 weeks maximum. Then toxicity, it can cause a sore throat, psyllitis and hypothyroidism. If you have any doubt, then you can post your question in a comment box or through your WhatsApp. Thank you dear students.